Hello everybody. In the last two videos I demonstrated how to number one send an email through VBA Excel that would use Microsoft Outlook and in the second video I showed how to send a mass email using the same method but just going to multiple users on your Excel sheet but the only thing is is that that was a static text which is what's located in J2. In this video I'm going to show how you can personalize the message to your distribution list that way you can say hello to the first and last name and also attach a promotional code. So a little difference here in this workbook, I've added this column that says promo code and we're going to go on and, and change this out. So message to send, we're going to modify this. I'm going to put hello, I'm going to put space, and I'm going to put replace name here and then exclamation mark and then this is just a mass email test. Welcome to the club your promotional code is and then I'm just gonna put promo code replace and then period and so now we have this text here and I'm just gonna do a wrap text so we can see, see the entire text so I'm just gonna format that cell really quick and then what we're gonna do is do the email to all of these users but we're going to replace this text right here, we're going to replace the first and last name and the replace name here and then the promo code. We're going to fix that out. So we already have our code set up to where we're sending the email and then the subject we're just putting this is just a test email but what we're going to do now is change the mail body. So here I'm going to take off sheet 1 range J2 and I'm just going to replace that with a variable instead. I'm going to call it mail body message. And then what we're going to do is do mail body message is equal to, and it's going to be sheet one dot range J2. All we're doing is this, we're creating a variable and setting this value to the variable. Now we have to declare the, declare this as a string. Dim mail body message as string because the procedure that we created requires that a string be sent and so we need to declare this variable as a string that way we can send it properly so now that we have the variable set up what we're gonna do I'm getting ahead of myself here let's first get the first and last name and the promotional code what I'm gonna do is do the entire name all together full name is equal to and it's gonna be sheet one dot range and remember we already have this this do loop set where we're looking at the row number so we're gonna look at first name would be column B and then whatever row that we're in so it's B and row number we're gonna close that out we're gonna put the and sign that way we have a um, well the ampersand space double quote close and then we're gonna do another ampersand and then we're gonna do sheet one dot range and then we're looking at C, which is for the last name, and row number. So all we're doing here is we're putting the full name together. We're getting the item from first name and getting the item from last name, and we're putting a space in between. That way we have a space in between the first and last name. And we're also going to set this as a string. So dim full name as string. And then, of course, the, promo, the promo code. I'm going to create a declaration for the promo code. I'm just going to name it promo code. And so what we're going to do is do promo code is equal to sheet one dot range. And that's going to be in column D and whatever row that we're in. So it's D and, and row number. And there you have it. In these two variables, you have the, the full name established and the promo code established. So now what we're going to do is modify the mail body message, which we're saying is J2. The first thing that we want to do is replace the name. So what we can do here, I need to get out of here. Let me minimize this. Okay, mail body message is equal to, we're going to use a replace function. This is going to be the string that we're working with. What string do we want to replace? That's what it's asking us right here, the find string. And the find string that we're going to have here is replace name here. So we're going to put that in double quotes, replace name here, and then we're going to re replace that with the variable full name. I'm going to close that out. 
and then all that's going to do is going to recreate the variable but it's going to replace this string replace name here with the full name the variable that we established and I'm, um, I'm just gonna copy and paste that and I'm just gonna modify replace name here I'm gonna change that to promo code replace because that's the next thing that we want that we want to replace change that out and what are we going to replace it with we're not gonna replace it with full name we want to replace it with the promo code so that's gonna be the new mail body message and I'm just gonna do message box mail body message just so we can test it out I'm going to put a single quote in the beginning of the send email that way that code is not executed let's play this code out and make sure it works before we send out the email so we're gonna do macros run that macro so the first line is hello John Doe promo code ABC 134 perfect that works next one is Alex Doe and it's same promo code well the different one but same for that line the next one should say Ron Doe perfect and it has his promo code Poppy Doe has the appropriate promo code and then Dopey Dope promo code that is appropriate to Dopey Dope and then there you have it so now all we need to do is just send out the emails so let's take off that single quote and we'll just put a message box complete and again these are not valid email addresses I should get return mail on all of them so I'm gonna do but I'm gonna run the macro now I forgot to take out the message box but that's okay we'll just hit OK on all of them and then complete so I'm gonna look at in my inbox now and if we just want to give it a few seconds here we see the send and receive working we should receive emails that they were all failures so there, there they are let's go on it let's go ahead and open them and confirm that they went through properly so this mail was going to this address Alex one two three four which would have been the first one and if we scroll down to see the original message it does say hello John Doe this is a mass email test welcome to the club your promotional code is ABC 134 and that's all correct and so all the other emails um, would be accurate as well if we just just to double check Alex 1238 we look at the spreadsheet 1238 we should have DLLKKDL as a promo code and if we scroll down that's exactly what we see that concludes this video on creating a personalized message for your email distribution list. Now, if you would like, go to my next uh, my next video. It will be the final video for this tutorial. And in that video, I'm going to explain how you can put an HTML body together for an email message. Thank you for watching.